Here is a program to read an alphanumeric character and display its equivalent ASCII code at the center of the screen. Let us see what is ASCII. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Since computers can only understand numbers, each character is given with the ASCII code. So, whenever that particular character is pressed, its ASCII code will be sent into the processor. Before going into the code, let us discuss the logic behind it. Whenever a character is entered, its ASCII value will be stored in AL register. In order to display this ASCII value, we find ASCII equivalent of each digit in ASCII value and then print the ASCII equivalent which will display the ASCII value. Example, let 4 be the character entered. When 4 is entered, 34 will be stored in AL. In order to display 34, we have to find ASCII value of 3 that is 33. ASCII value of 4 is 34. We then print 33 and 34 which will display 34 on screen. Let us now go through the rules to find the ASCII value of a 8-bit number. If the 8-bit number is less than 0AH that is 10 in decimal then just add 30H to get the ASCII value of that number. If the 8-bit number is greater than 0AH, then first add 7H to the number and then add 30 to get the ASCII code. Example, let us consider the value 0BH. 0BH is written in binary like this, which is greater than 0AH. Therefore, we have to add 7 to 0BH. Adding 7 to 0BH will result in this number that is nothing but 12 in decimal. Now, after getting 12, we add 30H to get the ASCII code. Let's begin with the code. Dot model small. It tells that the entire program uses one code segment and one data segment from the entire memory. According to the question, they have asked us to print the ASCII code at the center of the screen. In order to move the cursor to the center of the screen, let's write a macro for it. In our program, we are going to use a macro. So let us see what is a macro. A macro is nothing but a piece of code that is written to perform a simple or a small task. Whenever a macro is called, Whatever is defined for that particular macro gets executed. Name of this macro is place and here x and y are the parameters passed to this macro. Move a h comma 0 to h. In this particular command, you are moving 0 to h to the a h register which is a DOS service number. It's used when there is some screen activity. Move dh, y. You are moving a row number into the dh register. In the next command, we are moving the column number into dl. We then write interrupt 10h. This is to place the cursor into that particular position. End m indicates the end of the macro. Inside our data segment, we have two strings which are initialized for user interface. That is message 1 and message 2 each is defined as byte that means it holds 8 bits in the memory. Here 10 is the ASCII value of line feed and 13 is the ASCII value of carriage written. Dollar indicates that it is the end of the string. Inside the code segment, the first two commands are written for data segment initialization. In the first command, we move at the rate data to the AX register. By writing this command, we move the address of all the data into the AX. In the next command, we move from AX to DS. This is done because we cannot have a direct transfer between the memory. So we transfer it through a register AX. 
these three lines are used to clear the screen. This is done because we can see the output clearly. Next, we call the place macro with the parameters 18h and 0bh. So, the cursor will be moved accordingly to that particular position. After displaying message 1, we'll have to read a character. In order to read a character, we write these two instructions that is move ah, 01h and interrupt 21h. Here, 01h is a DOS service number which is used to read a character. Before going further, we should know a fact that whenever a character is entered, its ASCII value will be stored into the accumulator register that is AX. Compare AL, 00H. Here, we are comparing whether the ASCII value of the inputted character is 0. This particular instruction that is compare, it performs subtraction operation internally. If the ASCII value of the inputted character is 0, then it will go back to the loop 1 that is it will not proceed with the other execution until one more character is read. If it is not 0, it continues further. Move BL, AL. This we are doing because we might require the original value stored in AL in the later cases. So we need to keep a backup for the original value of AL. Here, BL register acts as a backup for the value in AL. Move CL, 04H and AL, F0H, SHR, AL, CL and AL, F0H. By doing so, we'll get the first digit of the ASCII value along with the 0 to its right. That is why we have to shift the value in AL by 4 bits to the right. Since we have to shift it by 4 bits, initially I have put 4 into the CL register. So, after the execution of these 3 instructions, we will get the first digit from the ASCII value. That is, in our example, it is 3. Let us now see in detail how it works in our example. Suppose our input is 4, then AL will contain 34 which is stored as 8 bit number. Anding AL with F0 will give 3 and 0. But we want 3, so we shift AL by 4 bits. This 4 bits is stored in a CL register. Now, AL will have the value 0, 3. We compare 0, 3 with 10. If it is less than 10, we just add 30 to that to get the ASCII. Else, we need to add 7 and after getting the first digit of the ASCII value, we'll have to compare it with the 10. This is done according to the rule of ASCII. If the number is less than 10, it will go to label next one. That is, in label next one, we just add 30 to the number. If it is greater than 10, then this particular condition is not satisfied. So, it goes to the immediate next instruction that is add AL, 07H. Now, 7 will be added to the number and then this particular command that is adding 30 will be executed. So, in total, first 7 will be added to the number and then 30 will be added to it. Now, we'll have to display a message 2 before displaying the ASCII value. This is done just for the sake of user interface. We should know a fact that whenever operations like display, read and write is performed, the values stored in AX and DX register will be affected. But we might require it in the later parts of the program. So what do we do? We need to push the values of AX and DX into the stack so that we can retrieve it later. 
After pushing them, these three set of instruction is used to display the message too. First instruction, we load the effective address of message to into the DX register. Next, move AH, 09H. Here, 09H is a DOS service number which is used to display something onto the screen. Then we call interrupt 21H. This will result in displaying message 2. After the display function is over, we then pop the values from the stack back into the respective registers. Now we'll have to display the first digit of ASCII onto the screen. In order to do this job, we have these three instructions. First instruction, move DL, AL. Here we move the content of AL into the DL register. In our example, the content of AL now is 33. After that, move AH, 02H and interrupt 21H. Here, 02H is a DOS service number which is used to write onto the screen. After the execution of these three instructions, three will be displayed on the screen. Now, the left job is to display the second digit of the ASCII code. In order to get the second digit, we'll have to first get the original value of AL. For this purpose itself, I had stored the value of AL into the BL as a backup. Now, get that value from the BL register and move it into the AL. Now, AL will have the original value that is in our example it is 34. From the ASCII, we have to get the second digit now. So, we have to add AL with the 0FH. After doing so, we get the second digit. That is, in our example, 34 is a value stored in AL. When we add 34 with 0F, we get 04. Now, this 04 is compared with 10 according to the rule of ASCII. The number is less than 10, it will go to the label next to and 30 will be added to it. If not, that is, if the number is greater than 10, first 7 will be added and then 30 will be added. After executing till here, now we will have to display that second digit onto the screen. So we have these three instructions just like how we displayed the first number that is move DL, AL, move AH, 02H and interrupt 21H. The next two commands that is move AH, 4CH and interrupt 21H is used to terminate the program. Here the program is terminated using 4CH service. Instead of these two lines, you can even write interrupt 3H which will also terminate the program. End denotes the end of program. Now let us execute the code. Uh, my code is in the folder uh, drive H. So let me go to the drive first. Let me go to the massive folder inside the drive. Now let's see the program. I've saved it as alpha.as. So here is our code. Let's save it once again and then start execution. Exit. Let's check for errors. So there are no errors and no warnings. Let's proceed. Let's link the object file now. It's linked. Let's execute the code. Dot links. Now it's asking us to enter the character. As you can see, the screen is all clear and uh, the cursor is already at the center of the screen. 
So let's enter 3. So the ASCII code of 3 is 33. If you want to see with any special character, let's execute it again. Let me enter at ASCII code of address 40. 